Hey guys, welcome to What I Ate Wednesday. I'm starting my day off with some decaf coffee. This one is the Ethical Bean decaf. For a while I had Van Hoot hazelnut decaf. It wasn't that great. <laughs> so, like it was fine, but not amazing. So yeah, that one I had to order online. So here we just got stocked up on some other coffee for me. Mm, it was good. And then I put my silk. Um, stuff in it too. So today what I ate Wednesday, I figured I'm gonna do it more as like a vlog. So I'll still show everything that I eat today and make today, um, but I'm kind of bored. So I like to do it as a vlog. Um, yeah, so today, well, Dan's been working nights. So he actually just got home at 7.30 um, and now he's already in bed and now I'm up and bored. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to do um and I have to be quiet I was like I'm gonna make hummus today and I'm gonna do some muffin baking and then I was like oh he probably doesn't want me to use like the food processor and the mixer um but maybe by lunchtime he'll be awake <laughs> so he won't mind I don't know <laughs> we'll see <laughs> it's his first time in like two years that he's been working at the hospital that he is doing um, overnight shifts. So it was 11 o'clock at night to seven o'clock this morning. Um, so he's getting used to it. I don't think he likes it, but at times like this, you know, when there's a position or like a time in need um, or a time slot in need, you just, you do it. I hope everyone is staying safe, social distancing yourself as much as possible. I do have to go out today, unfortunately. I have to do a blood test. And it's like in a smallish week window. Um, and I didn't go last. And my doctor had said, well, although the window is like, I think 24 to 28 weeks, the doctor said try to go in like the 24, 25 week. Um, and again, that was before all this COVID broke out. So I didn't go last week because I'm like, eh, you know, things will get better next week probably. And so then I can go this week or next week. And I was like, realistically, it's probably gonna get worse next week. So I'd rather go. I'm super nervous just because Life Labs, that's where I have to get the blood work done. They do take people who are infected with COVID-19. Um, obviously they put them in like a room right away and stuff, but still and this blood test i have to wait an hour between my samples so yeah it's my gestational diabetes test so not looking forward to that but i put it off long enough so i have to do it i should have done it last week but whatever um i probably still will make muffins this morning but i just won't use the i'll do it like with just the normal mixer not even like the hand mixer just quietly just because I like having muffins every so often and Dan actually has them for breakfast because he doesn't have, well, I guess now he won't. Well, I don't know what his, it's weird with his schedule, but we'll see. All right, I think I'm gonna make myself some breakfast because it's like 8.30. I have nothing else to do until this afternoon. Um, so yeah, breakfast first, then some muffins. So I have some spinach and some spices and water. I was gonna steam it a bit more, but oh well. Now I'm just gonna pop my egg in there and scramble it up. So this is breakfast. I'm just gonna sit down and eat it. Chloe already barked at something at the window, so I'm like, no, Dan's sleeping. <laughs> Since I like rarely leave the house anymore, my face has gotten a lot clearer actually. Could also be the hormones and stuff, but I was like, hmm, that's good. Although, starting two weeks, I guess, um, April 14th. I'm going back, not going back, but I will be teaching online um, at one of the schools. So two days a week I get to teach at the other school. I'm, they don't need me, <laughs> I guess. So uh, that's just it for me at that school this year. Um, but yeah, so I'm happy that I'll be doing from April 14th to mid to end June, mid June, I guess. Um, of teaching still, so yay, happy for that. Um, so that'll be interesting. We're still learning about our um, portal for online teaching. Um, I have some conferences set up later on the week just with other teachers to kind of discuss it and try it out, um, but happy to be going back to teaching soon or coming, I don't even know how to explain it, but yes, 
teaching from my house <laughs> remotely. <laughs> but yeah, all right, for now, just eating breakfast and drinking coffee. Schnauzers are looking, she tripsies. <laughs> Nice and comfortable on her bed. Chloe is like, what can I find and bark at outside? All right, so it's muffin time. I'm doing healthy cinnamon sugar apple muffins um, from, what is it, Pinch of Yum. Uh, we had an apple that was kind of a little mealy um, that I didn't really just wanna eat. Um, so I cut it up into little pieces. Here we go. Um, and then I added half of an extra one as well just to top it off. So yeah, I'll show you everything we're using. So coconut oil, almond milk, multigrain flour, vanilla, baking powder, baking soda, an egg, a cup and a half of apples. And then there is some sugar in it, some brown sugar. And then they call for allspice, which I don't have. So we're doing ginger, nutmeg, and cinnamon. I think this is almost done, so I have a new one of those. So now let's whip up some <laughs> muffins. Almost done, just adding in all of our apple slices or pieces. I'll get those too. And just kind of folding it all in. So then this is the unhealthy stuff. This is like a mixture of butter, melted butter and some sugar and cinnamon so not the best but i know dan will like these muffins a lot better especially since they have whole wheat flour if they have something sweet with them and then i also made a couple mini muffins because for me often if i just want like a little pick me up i don't need to eat a whole big one so but if i, I will because you know i'm not gonna eat half a muffin but silly I want the whole thing so yeah I made a couple of these small ones for me so I was gonna put them in the oven for 15 minutes while I am waiting they have about seven minutes left just having some orange juice that I'll have with some vitamins all right I don't know if that topping was really needed like it was supposed to be a it was supposed to be like a crunchy topping did it say yeah, it says you only need a little bit to get the crunchy top effect. Maybe, uh, I guess a little bit. But I like the muffins that I did last time, which Dan actually did not eat at work last night. Um, I did a little bit of brown sugar and um, oats, and that was a nice crispy crunch top. But we'll see. So I'm going to just let these cool for a little bit, and then I'll try my baby ones. See how those are. Try not to actually, I shouldn't. I'll have a baby one. I don't want to have too much sugar before I have to go for this glucose test. Even though you drink a big amount of sugar, but I don't need to have extra sugar on top of that ahead of time. <laughs> All right, let's try one of these mini muffins, the small ones. Mm. Pretty good. They're not that sweet. And the recipe said it's not like a sweet recipe. Um, it's more just like a savory with a hint of like cinnamon and it does have sugar in it. Um, you can tell I used whole wheat flour, but still tastes good and for a little like pick me up, it'll be good. And it still has sugar in it, so shouldn't be having too many. <laughs> I could. <laughs> so Dan is still sleeping. I don't want to use the food processor and wake him up. That's not fair. He has another long night of work tonight. Um, but it's 1230. I need to make some lunch. So I decided I am going to do my, I really want to make hummus today. So I'm going to do it later. Um, but I was going to have it in my wrap today. So instead I just took a little bit of the chickpeas out and I'm going to just mush them and not make, mm, I love chickpeas, <laughs> not make uh, hummus. I probably don't want a whole bunch of garlic breath anyways, but just do something with them and put them in a wrap. All right, so I mixed some spices, um, herbs, like in, with cumin and a tiny bit of lemon juice. So basically I made just a not so blended hummus. Um, no tahini, but the recipe I was gonna follow didn't have tahini anyways. Um, no oil, so that's why it's a little crumblier, but that's okay. So that's the base. And then I put actually a little bit of um, yogurt, plain yogurt and Dijon mustard on the bottom first. And then actually let's do some green onions. Just sprinkled throughout. And then cucumbers. 
Oh yeah, I think we have falafel in the freezer. That would have been a good wrap too, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna just eat these. <laughs> I have two lettuce, that's gonna be way too big. That's okay, and then I'm gonna wrap it, but I have to have two hands to do that. All right, so eating my wrap, I've been having a lot of wraps with like different kind of toppings in it, or fillings, I guess, not toppings, um, but I've been really liking the Dijon mustard. Mm, it's good, mm. Just having this for lunch, and then heading off later to my blood appointment, blood work appointment. <sighs> oh yes, and I'm having these ones too. We have a, I guess, smart TV, and I don't know. Uh, it confuses me, because I still insist on using the universal remote, and Dan's like, no, just use the one that came with it. But it just confused me. Anyways, but the good thing is, you can connect to it um, with headphones. So I'm watching, because like our house is kind of open, and the bedroom's just like above five stairs, um, and even with the door closed. But yeah, so now I'm like, I can sit and watch TV, without it being noisy, yay. <laughs> All right, so I'm like 15 minutes early to the lab, so I'm gonna wait in the car for a little bit because I don't wanna have to wait there any more than I have to, and I will, I have to wait in there for an hour. Uh, so basically you take a drink of this like sugary drink and then they measure your, or take your blood an hour later. And it's not, I'm, I'm sure I'll fail it, which doesn't mean that I have gestational diabetes. It just means that I have to do the two and the three hour test, which will be even worse, but, like I'm overweight, my it, diabetes runs in the family, gestational diabetes runs in the family, so come on. But fingers crossed I pass it. Um, and then they're also looking at a couple other blood values. So my Purell, and then I have my car, Lys or not Lysol, now these are Clorox wipes that I'm gonna take a couple in my bag and wipe, I don't know, just, I have to push the button of like the elevator and stuff like ugh. Oh, I just don't want to get sick all right I have to do this so it is what it is all right so I'm allowed to wait in the car thank goodness I just drank my like 250 mil of sugary drink um in like the waiting room so <laughs> it's and the actually there's not a lot of people there so I think there was when I came in there was someone leaving and then there was one other person that was checking in um to have a sample done uh a different kind of blood work but everything else was yeah empty and they like took away most of the seats in the waiting room um I didn't even sit down I'm like no I'll just stand and drink it but there was no one else waiting in the waiting room anyways but all the staff are still there so I didn't feel like taking out my camera and be like let me film myself drinking my sugar drink um but that was that was okay and I like pushed all the elevator buttons with the Lysol wipe or the Clorox wipe threw it out <sighs> and now I'm waiting 55 minutes and then I'll go back up there and then get some blood work done <sighs> I feel full. <laughs> you have five minutes to drink the drink. I think I did it in like three. But yes. All right. Yeah, I'm really good. I didn't actually touch anything. Excellent. <laughs> Survived without touching anything aside from this chair. But I figure they would, you know, after every person goes, they disinfect the chair. Fingers crossed. But yes, all good. So. <sighs> Yeah, I didn't actually touch anything. Everything I had to touch, I used my Clorox wipe, like all the buttons and things, and huh, all right, and opened the door with my foot. So, um, back to home where I will stay there for the rest of the day and the week. Mm -hmm. When I came home, I had a bath. Um, well, obviously changed my clothes. We do try whenever we come home from being out. Um, Dan, obviously, when he's coming home from the hospital, he always takes a bath or a shower. Um, but even me, like, from the vet, even though I'm, like, just on phone duty, not <laughs> um, in contact with anyone, really. Um, but at least we change our clothes. But, yeah, since I was at the lab, I was like, just in case, let's have a bath, change clothes. And then I took the dogs for a walk, each kind of one at a time. And, yeah, now we're just... Coming in, Dan is, he was awake and then now he's back to having, trying to nap again before he gets up and then we'll do like some dinner and, or breakfast for him, but yeah, but not yet. <laughs> I wouldn't let her take candy cane out. I know, well, it's kind of wet grass still. Okay, it's not time to eat yet. Come on. 
For dinner, we are going to be having burgers and salads. We're gonna have the Light Life Burgers that are very similar to Beyond Meat, but not as good. <laughs> um, and then I decided I'm not gonna have, uh, or I'm not gonna make hummus anymore, but I'm just gonna do a chickpea salad. So having that, and then we have cucumbers, red peppers, red onions, and then I'm gonna put some herbs in there, as well as lemon juice and olive oil. Mixing it together. Now let's taste. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Good. I did some Herbe de Provence as well as some dill. <laughs> mm. All right, we have our dinner all made now. So I didn't go with one of my skinny buns. I had just a regular because we have brioche buns, which are so good. So a brioche bun and the Light Life burger and then lettuce and then like a salad and then the chickpea veggie salad. So let's first try the... Well, I know what my little salad tastes like, but good chickpeas. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that I did this over the um, doing what you might call it uh, hummus today. Happy that. And my burger. Mm -hmm. Delicious. <laughs> so we're gonna have that for dinner and just relax, watch some TV before Dan has to go to work. Just relaxing, watching some TV. It's the finale of The Great Chocolate Showdown. So just watching a lot. I have a little clo, -clo next to me. Hi. And a little Tripsy on her bed over there. Oh, we have to get new couches. That's also on the to-do list because this is obviously like the pleather, the fake leather. And well, we bought them in 2012, so eight years. That's not bad actually for inexpensive furniture but yeah lots of lots of things still to buy and to redo and lots of changes in the next three months if we want to get it done four months well, three and a half months ah anyways i think that's gonna be it so you want to come snuggle closer <laughs> all right you can go back down <laughs> No, I do not. Anyways, thank you for watching my What I Eat Wednesday slash vlog. I didn't actually do any tidying up today. That will be tomorrow because that's a nice quiet thing to do, <laughs> I guess. I have to vacuum, but there's no time to do that. Um, and yeah, Dan is back trying to nap again. I don't think he is able to take a nap, but he's trying to. So yes, thanks for watching and... This Saturday, yes, this Saturday I'll be posting the, it's like a very quick three minute video or two minute video, but just um, of the gender reveal. So you get to see if we're having a boy or a girl. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.